Welcome back. This is your man, Warrior, and this is a roster review for a patron by the name of William Logan. What's happening, William? My name is Warrior, but I am also a William, so pretty awesome. FTB Scum and Villainy. That's right. Scum and Villainy is the team that he's on with FTB. Now, he's got an arena squad on both uh, the Fleet Arena and on regular arena, and he's doing not too bad. He is mostly, when I say mostly free to play, I mean that he spent very, 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 very little in the game and has been around since nearly the beginning. So he's been around since, you know, for a year and a half, and he has spent almost nothing in the game. So you will notice he does not have a turret. He does not have a base and he does not have a shore trooper but he does have some really cool players that he has finally been able to get up to gear 10 and gear 11 this is going to help him out now he asked me for some help with heroic aat and arena and for the heroic aat they're struggling on it so they're just doing the regular aat raid right now and then they're working towards getting to that heroic they're very close so i'm going to give you the same basic advice i give everybody who's free to play you really need to stick to the four pillars of the game that is jedi so you can get your yoda unlocked and for phase one your droids and your jawas for phase two um, your rebels for phase three and rebels will help you get emperor palpatine um, and then for phase uh, three you want to have emperor palpatine and your tie fighter pilot and your royal guard it's basically an empire team so you've got your rebels your empire your droids and your jedis those are the four pillars of the game um, for jedi let's go ahead and look at them the team I would use would be a Qui-Gon Jinn lead or an Ayla secure lead. Now, Ayla's going to give them extra tenacity and Qui-Gon's going to give them extra speed. My thought is because of the level of gear and gearing, you're not going to survive as long as you need to to do as much damage without an Ayla lead. So you're going to have to have Ayla more than likely as the lead and they're going to get health gain when they ward off these defenses. So Ayla lead, Jedi Knight Anakin... Qui-Gon Jinn, Barriss Afi, and Luminara. Now, the reason why I'm picking Luminara over Grandmaster Yoda, I know Grandmaster Yoda is fast, but he and he can stun, but his damage is underwhelming. Luminara has an ability block capability, um, does have a decent hit, and she has that ability block hit, the Force Blast, that does a great amount of damage, and she's another healer. You're going to need a couple of healers right now in the in the to keep alive. So I would use Barisafi, Qui-Gon Jinn, Luminara, Ayla, and Jedi Knight Anakin, with Ayla being your lead. As far as P2, you know how that builds with droids and Jawas. Let's go into P3. So in P3, and so you don't have to farm up uh, Chir Chief Chirpa. What I'm going to suggest is I'm going to suggest you get Emperor Palpatine is the lead. The TIE Fighter pilot, but you're going to have to work on him a little. He's only gear 8 and only at 5 stars. You're going to have to get him 7 stars and gear 9 and 10. Um, and so work on TIE Fighter pilot, but Emperor Palpatine lead, TIE Fighter pilot, and then you're going to use your Stormtrooper. Get him to gear level 9. You're almost there. And your Royal Guard. The Royal Guard and Stormtrooper are the two tanks I would suggest. And then your Stormtrooper Han Rebel. So that way you have three tanks and then TIE Fighter pilot, Emperor Palpatine. It works very similar as Chirpentine as far as you want to put shock over all of the ad bots heads and then once you've got the shock over their heads you're going to be able to take a ton of turns you want uh, the Stormtrooper Han to be the tank you go first when Stormtrooper Han is about to die Royal Guard will taunt after Royal Guard taunts and is about to die you can then use Stormtrooper and use his taunt at that point which will return them over to the Stormtrooper and again then once Stormtrooper gets low Royal Guard will taunt again and make them go back so it's going to be a toss game between your your uh, taunts and your tanks to make sure that everybody stays alive but in the meantime Emperor Palpatine will do be doing mad damage and your TIE fighter pilot will be going off crazy because under Emperor Palpatine he gets a ton and I mean a ton of extra turn meter so that is going to be a way that you can hit hard but you got to get your TIE fighter up you want to do that for ships anyway so those are my suggestions for the raid you've got a darth vader lead which which you can do for the rancor you can still do that by the way it does work but you want to take in darth vader lead emperor palpatine royal guard tie fighter pilot and then you probably want to take in a sith 
because for Raincore, you're going to want to be able to do remove turn meter and Empire and Sith remove turn meter under Darth Vader. It does still work. Um, if you could ever get Darth Nihilus up, that would be awesome. But since you're free to play, that probably won't happen anytime soon um, unless you're, you've got his node unlocked. If you have his node unlocked, you can slowly start farming him. But in the meantime, Count Dooku works wonders and Darth Sidious works wonders. My suggestion of those two is Darth Sidious with all the extra dots he applies, the exposed, things like that. It just works great. So I would do for the Rancor, Darth Vader lead, Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine, Royal Guard for speed down, and TIE Fighter Pilot for tenacity down. Um, th that is going to be probably your best bang for your buck on the Rancor. As far as Arena goes, um, you really want to get up, and you said that you haven't really invested hardly any money at all in the game, but you are at a point where you really enjoy it, you've played it for a year and a half, and you wouldn't mind making a small investment in the game. I don't know what small means, that's 50 bucks, 100 bucks, I don't know what small is to you, but you, if you are willing to do uh, $100 or less, somewhere between 50 and $100, you could get crystals and use those crystals for the $50 or $100, and use it exclusively for gear. Gear that is stopping you from going to gear level 10 or gear level 11, that would be exclusively what I would use it for. And I would try to, in those crystals as well, unlock bays at three star. You don't need bays any higher than three star, but I would try to get them unlocked. If you can get them, farm them the old fashioned way, then do that, get the nine C unlocked so you can farm for bays. But if you can't, you already have a three star turret down here and you can farm Churret the old fashioned way. He doesn't drop often in the ship's shipments, but I would still work on Churret and base combo. I know a lot of people are saying they've been they've been um, nerfed. They haven't been nerfed, nothing's changed. They work exactly how they did before. The only difference is when one dies, they have these abilities that help each other. When one dies, they lose those joint abilities. They should have never been sharing those joint abilities after death. It was not working as intended. And when they're together, they're still as overpowered as they always have been. So Churret and Bays are a phenomenal pairing. You need to gear Churret up. You need to get Bays at three stars. Even a Churret at three stars, if he's under a Bays taunt protection is viable. You get them up to gear level 10 and the two of them on your arena team are going to cause mad havoc. The other individual I would recommend you continue developing and getting up is Darth Nihilus. He is absolutely amazing. You have him four star, but you have him gear eight. You've got to get him higher than gear eight for him to be really effective in arena. Um, although he'll have as much protection now as he does when he's at seven star. So he is arena viable even at the three and four star rate. But my suggestion for what you have now, I mean, what you've got is a Rex lead. And that's an excellent start with Rex as the leader and Boba Fett and Emperor Palpatine as your damage dealers. That is excellent. They're both amazing damage dealers with amazing abilities. The next two slots, Barris and Royal Guard, are kind of keeping you alive when you're on offense, but on defense, they're just dead weight. They don't help you defensively at all. Um, I know that's probably a shock to you. A lot of people think having a healer and a tank help defensively. They really, really don't. Um, especially on this type of a setup. They're just dead weight for you. So my suggestion is eventually switching out Royal Guard and Barris Offy with a Chur and Bay's combo. But in the meantime, if you want to give this, this team a little bit more bite, take Barris Offy out of the team and go ahead and put Darth Nihilus in this team. Not only can Darth Nihilus dispel on his basic, but he can also increase uh, opponent's cooldowns, which acts like a b ability block, and he'll be able to annihilate hard targets. Keeping Royal Guard in will help if somebody gets the better of your Emperor Palpatine or, or Boba Fett, it will trigger the taunt, which will help keep them alive longer. Plus, Royal Guard has that speed down and stun potential. With what you currently have, Another option could be Rex lead, Emperor Palpatine, Boba Fett, Royal Guard like you have, and take your Barris Offie out and put in Ayla Secura. Now, I know that may seem like a odd 
change from a gear 10 to a gear 9 underpowered but you have your Ala Secura completely maxed your gear your uh, mods aren't horrible at all you're going critical chance because you're smart you know critical chance is what she needs because when she hits she's going to stun this is going to help you in the PVE which are the player versus environment like the 9B 9C when you're going against and trying to unlock those shards of, of shore trooper and bays but she is also great in arena she's very tanky she stuns with her and royal guard and emperor palpatine you can essentially stun lock the other team constantly and on defense whether people want to admit it or not the proccing or the triggering of those abilities on defense happens far more so she would be much more viable as a defensive character on your team to keep your arena level than other teams plus it's just more intimidating having her people know what she does they're going to be less likely to attack you with her than they would with barris they see barris as dead weight so i hope this helps you with your arena team and focus i hope this helps you with uh the phase ones if you're looking at spending a little bit of money get crystals um get bays unlocked <laughs> work up and gear up your turret and bays and your darth nihilus continue to develop your ala secura for the lead in phase one keep working on your emperor palpatine type fighter pilot royal guard stormtrooper and saint han combo and your rebels it looks like you got a few rebels to work on but anyway you look like you're doing great for a relatively modest very minor spender over the last year and a half essentially a free-to-play person you've done very well for yourself in the top 133rd that's not bad i believe you can get into the top 100 and in ships you're not doing bad as at all i would say that the ships that you're using continue to use i've taken a look at your ships and they look great um you've got both of the tie fighters slave ones you've got plenty of target lock especially with sunfac i would use biggs and wedge together just because wedge is a heavy hitter and is kind of tanky naturally with biggs and then i would use the imperial tie fighter in your initial lineup with uh, jedi consular and then in the backup i would use probably sunfac slave one and uh, clone sergeant so you have some real durability and whatnot in your backup lineup but your ships look pretty good and it looks like you're doing uh, not too bad for a free to play in the ships if you have any questions get a hold of me on our private discord channel keep your gaming on warrior out